So in this video, we're going to look at the equation of a circle. We're going to look at finding the equation of a circle and also using the equation of a circle to pull out pieces of information. So first, we're going to take a look at where this is in the log table. So if you look at page 19 under the circle here, uh, here is the equation of a circle when given center hk and radius r. So let's that, write that down for ourselves. So it's clear from this that the two pieces of information that you need is the center, so your x-coordinate, standing for your h here, and your y-coordinate, your k, and your radius. So the radius length is also needed whenever you're looking for the equation of a circle. Right, let's jump into some examples here uh, and we can start to see how we can go about finding the equation of a circle when given these two pieces of information. Okay, so let's take the following example. So find the equations of the circles. So I have a few of them here. We're going to take this one first, whose center is 2, 3 and radius is 5. They're the two pieces of information so we can sub straight into our equation of a circle. Okay, so remember that is going to be the h, and this, of course, the y-coordinate is the k, and the radius, of course, is 5. So filling those pieces in, it's going to be x minus 2, all to be squared, plus y minus 3, all to be squared, is equal to 5 squared. And so we get x minus 2 squared, uh, all to be squared, y minus 3 all to be squared is equal to 25. And you can leave it like that in that form. And let's take a look at the second uh, example. So pause the video here and see if you can write out the equation of the circle whose centre is minus 1, 4 and radius is 4. Okay, so h this time is minus 1 and the y coordinate, of course, is the k, there's your centre, and the radius, of course, is 4. So now let's fill it in. So it is going to be x minus, and of course it's a minus 1. x minus, and the h is a minus 1. So it's x minus minus 1, all to be squared, plus y minus 4, all to be squared, is equal to, and the radius, of course, is 4 as well, all to be squared. So we can do a little bit of simplifying here because x minus minus 1 is the same as x plus 1. And of course y minus 4 all to be squared. We'll leave that. 4 squared then is 16 and we can leave the equation of the circle like this. Okay, try this one. Uh, again, find the equation of the circle whose center is 0, 3 and radius 2. Pause the video and see how you get on with this one. So our h, of course, is 0, our k is 3, and our radius is 2 this time. So let's sub it in. It's going to be x minus 0 is the h, all to be squared, and y minus k is 3, and all to be squared, and the radius, of course, is 2 squared. So x take away nothing, of course, is just x squared and then y minus 3 all to be squared we're going to leave and 2 squared of course is 4. So that is just x squared plus y minus 3 all to be squared is equal to 4 and that is the equation of that circle. So note when you have the center whose x coordinate is 0 we end up with just an x squared in the equation of the circle. Okay, try this question. Again, we're finding the equation of the circle whose centre is minus 2 minus 4 and radius is 6. Pause the video here and see how you get on. Okay, so again, we have our h is a minus 2 this time. Our k value is minus 4 and our radius is, of course, 6. So it's going to be x minus and then we're subbing in our h minus 2, all to be squared plus y minus, and then you're subbing in your minus 4 for your k, all to be squared, is equal to, and 6 squared is what we have there. So x minus minus 2, remember we can simplify that up. Taking away a negative is the same as adding. So we have x plus 2, all to be squared, plus, again, y minus minus 4 is the same as y plus 4, all to be squared, is equal to 36 
and again we can leave it in that form. And last uh, example in this question, uh, we want the equation circle whose center is 0, 0 and radius is 3. So pause the video and see how you get on with this. So the h value is of course 0, the k value is of course uh, 0 as well, and the radius is 3. So this is when we have the center being the origin. 0, 0, of course, is in the middle of the axes and is what we call the origin. So, again, filling in our values, it's going to be x minus 0 for the h, all to be squared, plus y minus, and we have 0 for the k, all to be squared, is equal to the radius is 3 squared. So we can tidy this up. So x, x take away nothing is, of course, just x, all to be squared. y take away nothing is y squared, and 3 squared is 9. So that leaves you x squared plus y squared equals 9. Okay, so remember with the equation of a circle, the two things we need, of course, is the center and the radius to fill in to get the equation of a circle. Well, that also means if you're given the equation of a circle, you can figure out the two pieces of information that were used in order to create it. So, find the centers and the radii of the following circles. Okay, so I have a few listed down here. Let's take this one first of all. Pause the video if you feel confident with this or listen carefully as we explain through uh, the first one at least. So, following on from what we have here, the x-coordinate, of course, of the center should be 4, and the y-coordinate will be 2, because this is set up perfectly where you've got the minus, you see. So if it's x minus 4, the h is 4, and if it's y minus 2, the k is 2, so the y coordinate of the center is 2, and the radius has been squared, remember, so r squared is equal to 9, okay, which means the radius on its own is going to be the square root of 9, and of course the square root of 9 is 3, so the center is 4, 2, and the radius is 3. Okay, so take a look at this question. So here, of course, we have x minus 3, so the h, uh, or the x coordinate of the center is 3. And here we have a plus 1. Now, technically it should be minus something. So if there is a plus, it means it must have been y subtract a negative. So this y coordinate of the center must have been minus 1. So that y minus minus 1 gives you the y plus 1 here in the brackets. So the center is 3 minus 1 in this case, and the radius is going to be again the square root of 16, which is 4. Let's take a look at this one, and again, pause the video if you're confident. So here, the center is going to be uh, so, what have we got? We have a plus. So again, it's got to have been minus a value. So if we have a plus here, it must have been minus minus 5 in order to get plus 5. So the x-coordinate of the uh, center is minus 5. Here, well, I have nothing here. I just have y squared, which implies that the k must be 0 because y take away 0 will give you y squared on its own. So the y coordinate of the center must be 0. And again, the radius is going to be the square root of 100, which is 10. Okay, so let's try this question again, pulling out the center and the radius. Pause the video if you feel confident. So this time, well, we have, again, nothing being subtracted from the x. We just have x on its own, all to be squared, which implies the x-coordinate of the center is 0. Same here, we have just the y squared on its own, which implies that the y-coordinate of the center is also 0. And the radius, of course, is going to be the square root of 81. You're always going to square this answer because it has always been squared in the equation. So square root 81, so the radius is 9. Okay, so try this question. Pause the video if you feel confident. This time, of course, uh, we have a minus 2, 
which is exactly what we would normally have, yeah, minus value. The x coordinate is going to be 2. The y coordinate will be a plus here, so it must have been y minus minus 3, so the y coordinate must be minus 3. And the radius, of course, is square root of 8. And square root of 8 doesn't root quite nicely, but that might happen. Uh, you can, If you do it on the calculator, it will simplify the surge to 2 root 2. But that's as far as we can go with it, so that's the answer. Okay, so second last question of this type, x squared plus y squared equals 20. So again, nothing has been uh, subtracted from the x here, so the x coordinate of the center is 0. Same here, again, nothing's been subtracted from the y, so the y coordinate of the center is 0, and the radius is going to be the square root of 20. And again, the square root of 20 doesn't uh, simplify to a nice whole number, we just get 2 root 5 on the calculator if you simplify that third. And that is our radius.